two, one. Welcome in Husker Extra two minute drill. It's Wednesday. Parker, they're simple. Uh, just got back from Memorial Stadium where we had our first in person football interviews in how long? Simple a year. Well, yeah. Remember, we went over there in early March last year and did interviews at Memorial Stadium yeah. right before yeah. the pandemic right. shut down spring right. practice. Yep. Yep. So it's been uh, more than a year, which is crazy to think about. Um, and we heard from a bunch of interesting stuff. We heard from four assistant coaches, Greg Austin, uh, Sean Becton on the offensive side, Mike Dawson, uh, and Travis Fisher on the defensive side. And one of the things I thought was interesting, Sipple, is that it, it seems as though um, special teams came up quite a bit, naturally in part because Mike Dawson um, is going to be the point person on staff for special teams, is the special teams coordinator. Scott Frost said they were going to give him that tag. Um, he talked about it, but I thought Travis Fisher, the secondary coach, said that he told his room, he said he's got probably 20 guys in his position room, corners and safeties between scholarship players and walk-ons, and he said it's a letdown if every single one of his players aren't starting on at least one special teams unit. So uh, it just sort of seemed like I don't, it's easy to sit here from the outside and say there's an increased focus on it, but it seems like there's an increased focus on it after well, a poor year last year. Well, Sean Becton essentially said there's an increased focus on it, that, that it will have those quotes, but he did say we have to dial it up on special teams. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that and he says it's on the coaches. Yeah. This is on the coaches. Travis, um, Travis Fisher said, he said, my guys understand because they understand how special teams, how important special teams is because they saw what happened to us last year. Yeah, so, there's, I don't, I don't think, I don't mind saying after listening to you say that and Becton say what he did, that they're turning it up in that area. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It, it, you know, simple, I think in part because we just weren't around the team very much last year and all that. It, this might fly a little bit under the radar and because the secondary played pretty well, but they really dealt with a lot of injuries in the secondary last year. I mean, Braxton Clark missed the entire year. Javen Wright missed the entire year. Miles Farmer was hurt midway through the season. The dad, Joseph, just as he was starting to earn some playing time, uh, was hurt and, and missed the last uh, three games, I think. And so one of the things, and then Noah Pola Gates is as healthy as he's been, Travis Fisher says, uh, since he's been here. And so one of the things I think is going to be really interesting in that secondary is the competition for the cornerback job, but then also how far into a rotation at any of those positions, whether it's corner or safety, um, you know, Travis Fisher is going to be willing to go. He thinks he's got a group. I mean, he, he said that his goal is to have the best secondary in the country. And, and he says, I, he said he really believes he's got guys um, that here right now at Nebraska um, that can, that can push for a title like that. Yeah. Now some, some people are going to roll their eyes when, when yeah. you say that. And then when I say what Sean Becton said about his tight end room, that he's telling his guys, we, sh we should operate like we're, we can be the best in the country. <laughs> um, people are going to roll their eyes because you know, it's spring and there's hype and all that. Sure. But they said yeah. it. That's, and I don't, where I come down on is I'd rather them being, I mean, I'd rather a coach express confidence um, than not. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's interesting that two position coaches today said that. Now I would say that those happen to be the strongest, you know, two of the strongest positions on the team pretty much. Yeah. Most, most and, experienced. Anybody would yeah. Agree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so there you go, Parker. Quickly, before we go, what did Sean Becton say about Thomas Fedoni? I know a lot of people wonder about the young guy. Well, he just said that he's, you know, he's coaching him hard. Yeah. And that he's got, you know, he's obviously got a lot to learn, but he's, you know, he's with the ones, twos and threes. I mean, he's, but he is getting, he did indicate he's getting some times with the ones. He's got to, as far as being more physical, he didn't say he had to be more physical, but he's just got to, understand hand placement and footwork sure. and and it's not like I don't want to portray it like Fedoni's not physical enough it's just the game moves faster the guys are bigger and that part you know that part probably needs a lot of work there you go a lot of work coming at, at huskerextra.com we're gonna have a ton of uh, Nebraska coverage there 
today, tomorrow, all through spring ball, obviously. Uh, so thank you for watching. Check huskerox.com for all the latest.